My name is Mike Williamson and I'm running for Vice President Academic Affairs to improve the quality of your education. Every year people promise a 24 hour library and every year it doesn't happen. I want to continue the fight for a 24 hour library but clearly it's going to take some time and in the meantime students are losing out. I think there are things we can do in the short term until we win that fight. So I propose we digitalise all the books here in the hub so that you can use the book you need wherever you want, whenever you want and you won't have to wait for the rest of your class to finish with it before you can use it. Some libraries aren't open at all on the weekends and the ones that are only open at 12 o'clock on a Sunday. I don't think this is good enough so I'll push for extended library opening hours across the university and I also want Darwin and Robertson to be open 24 hours during exam times just like the main library. And I think everyone can agree that marking needs to be much more consistent. Our grades shouldn't depend on which lecturer marks our paper. Good feedback should have comments written on the assignment itself. It's not enough to just have your paper with a form attached to the front with comments that don't really refer to anything. Good feedback has to refer to specific parts of the work. For years now, user has been talking about improving feedback, but there's still a long way to go. Good feedback should stop before you even hand your assignment in. The marking system needs to be more transparent so that you know what you have to do to get that grade. One of the areas where the university is lagging behind is integrating technology into learning. It's very easy for podcasts to be put online, but a lot of lecturers are reluctant to do it. The facilities are there, it's beneficial for our education, so I think it needs to be done. Everyone agrees that the DOS system is broken. Instead of just tweaking it, I want to replace it entirely. One of the problems is that a DOS is doing two jobs when they're actually only qualified for one. So what I want to do is split the workload into two. If you have any administrative problems, you go to an office member of staff. That way, your DOS can act more like a dissertation supervisor dealing with purely academic problems. By reducing the workload, we can make being a DOS optional, so that bad DOSs don't have to be DOSs anymore. In fact, student representation at USAP is a really big problem. People don't know what it does, they don't know where to go to, to meet their representative, and people wonder why we can't get 300 people needed for a general meeting. What I suggest is that every week, USA publishes a column in the student newspapers telling everyone what it does, and the minutes of every meeting should be published online so that more detailed information is available if people want to find it. At this time of cuts to the public services we all rely on, higher education is likely to face a massive cut to its budget following the Scottish elections. I think these cuts are unnecessary, unfair, that they'll harm the economy in the long term and that there are better ways to reduce the deficit. A group of us called Defend Edinburgh have come together to campaign against fees, against graduate tax and fight for the free, fair and funded higher education that the politicians behind these cuts receive themselves. 